we are going to talk about your intention keyword and how to create a word art cloud. Uh, so I'm going to bring Matt in right now. Uh, and we on the podcast. Uh, so if you haven't seen our podcast or listened to our podcast of last Friday, we want we walk through an exercise and I'm not going to do that again today on how to set your intention and focus in use. I am going to share one quick thing that is in there that will help you understand what we talked about. And it was the idea of the feng shui bagua map. And there is an entire exercise that goes with this, helping you figure out each of these nine areas of your life. There's instructions that come with it. You can go download all of that at WBNLcoaching.com. Click on the podcast button or go to WBNLpodcast.com. It will take you directly to that place. And you can learn all about how to just do the first part of this exercise. Because what we're going to do today is show you how you can have some fun with the creative words, um, with the keywords, and even choose maybe a keyword as a theme for your upcoming year. Okay. So Matt... On the fly on Friday, when we were doing our podcast, was looking for a place uh, that, that worked because we knew we had found these things before. I knew yeah. years ago I had found one. So over the weekend, I was doing the exercise, Matt. I was playing with my keywords. And so, again, over in the podcast, we have links to like 300 powerful words, you know, or 150. Another list has 150. So I actually yeah. grabbed all those. This is what I did I grabbed all those words. Then I put them into a document, a Google document, and I started to sort them and delete the words. What did you do? To, to I actually did sit down and I thought, I just thought, thought for about 15 minutes and then you I started writing word. words that were important to me. So these are all words that I came up with without gotcha. help of anything else. Okay. Now that is wicked cool because you went a whole nother route with it. And I kind of, I knew words that I wanted and I had a few of those right. down and then I just got inspired by this list of words. and eliminated It's funny, Jim, because what I was really kind of doing, I was trying not to lead the witness being myself. And mm -hmm. I thought, you know what, I'm going to write down the, 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 the first 10 words that pop into my head are the ones that I'm going to go. And then I kind of built from there. I think I ended up with about 15 or 16 words altogether. Okay. And I think I might have a few and I, you know, here's the deal. I, I did this exercise and we're going to now in just a second, I'm going to walk everybody through where to go. But the very first thing you have to do is you got to have your words. So whether you go with Matt, whether you go back and do the intention focus, focus exercise and get very specific of each of the areas and what they mean and what is a word that harnesses what it is you want to work on in relationship or creativity or knowledge or health, wealth, et cetera, career. Yep. Um, or just go the way I went and took a list of words and went down and I added a few, uh, deleted most, changed some of the words to the way I wanted them to be, whether they were action or a noun. Yep. Or Matt just did it his way. That's what you got to do first before you get into the fun part. Okay. They need to mean something. And it's a really great exercise because when I went and did it first, I, um, I didn't like there's weighted the word this word art will do weights to the words and you can highlight the colors and you can put them in different organize random in different ways. We're going to show you that. It's the um, coolest thing. It's so fun. But you know what happened is like I pro I sat, I left it, I went away and I came back and over the weekend I kept tweaking. Is that really the word I want? Because your eye is going to go to the main key words, probably the top four or five on your list, uh, unless you use color smartly. Are going at least the top three for me were always popping out no matter how I move them around. What was I can't your wait to see yours. Hmm? I can't wait to see it because you All can right, do so, so much. There's there so much activity that can be done within okay. this particular program. It's so awesome. All right. So I'm going to walk through how to do this. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen again. I just use the Google Docs. So let me start with this. So here's my Google Doc and I just put my words into a thing here. Now I'm wanting to show you this because you need to, this is the easiest way, Matt, Matt, you can talk, I'm going to pull up word art now. I basically went and copied all this. So let me do that right now. Now what I need to do is go share the wordart.com. Okay. So that's where I found that I thought it was, this is the one I think I've used in the past, Matt. I love this one. I've never um, seen this one before. I, I think it's very really cool. Love. So here we're going to go to, I need to, I cannot pull up the wrong one because I have one. Oh gosh, hold on. Let me just, I hope this is not the one that already has my cloud in it. Okay. Just look away, Matt. Look away for <laughs> it. Oh, it's the wrong one. Okay. Hold on. I, I didn't look. Okay, hold on. Shoot. Um, <laughs> I, had, I had absolutely a 50, 50 shot of That's doing funny. that and I chose the wrong one. All right, here we go. So you go to wordart.com. And then uh, you, I didn't even create an account or anything. I just went to create now. Did I you? Did too. So you could type them in one at a time, type in a new word one at a time. But the best thing that if you're doing it my way, you hit import. And then this, I don't know if you can see it, but a text box comes up. Got it. 
it puts them all individually in the uh, the way you want to do it. And then, and then you hit visualize and it brings the words up. OK, now the fun. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and go to my real one. And here is my da, reveal. Da, 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 da. Okay. Yep. So my words and I'm still I haven't decided. It, I, I'm not 100 percent sure. I know for sure I want family in there and prosper. And so like I have all these words in here. Intention is something that has really been coming to the forefront, but that's about the fourth word that I put in the middle. Now, what's some fun things here? Let me just point out a few things. And Matt, let's talk about what you can do in here. And then, um, because I had to keep hitting this button to get it the way I like it. You can change the palette colors, but what's one, a couple things that are super cool in here is you can move these things up and down, right? So if I want, if I want alignment to be higher up on my deal, I can just move it up. I can move them up and down. So that's the first thing. Um, it, when I went and did this, if you look at the, the words are the first thing, where do you want the words? Then you can go to shapes. I played with all this, but I just like the word cloud. I didn't like any of these things. I don't know if you played with those shapes. Did you? You shall see, Jan O'Brien. Okay. You shall see. Maybe you discover something because I didn't quite like any of them. Then you can choose your fonts, right? You can you can choose you can change words independent. I think you can even change one well, a minute when I go back to the words, you can change the fonts of certain words. I yep. kept them the same. You can change the layout. So I have this dancing word. Now, if I just go to random and then hit visualize, it takes it and it moves them in random fashion so you can have all kinds of fun playing with if, it yeah if you're just, if you're a little bit anal horizontal works just fine just this part alone is fun it and, is and but you got to hit visualize for each time then you can hit custom oh i kind of like just the horizontal i, yeah, I did too i did too originally but i changed mine um but then i kind of kept on coming back to dancing word i don't know why dancing words works for me but and then the problem with this is this is the challenge that i got into um, so if once you get your words down and you get your font and then you like your design, now what happens is every time you hit visualize, it moves things around and it mm. changes the colors. And so I, I would have I would hit on something that I liked. And this is what I discovered. It's like, OK, I wanted things to be this way. And then you can keep doing it until you get it the way you like. And then you can go in and change the colors individually. Like it's important. Like you have to really play with this. Like it's off balance to me. That one that's got too much red. Right. Yep. So let me let me stop for a minute and you and then you can pick up kind of showing how you can customize this. I'll stop sharing. OK, so I'm interested in seeing your words. There. You want to see mine? OK, here we go. Here is my cloud. Boom. Wow. Oh, my God. You went nuts with this. OK, so I chose for my shape the play logo sure. that you would see for a video because our focus in 2021 is going to be video creation so not only is my wow. are, are my words important the whole whole implement itself drives me to what we need to do every single day oh my Great god this is so awesome but matt this is the one thing i didn't like about the shape it just keeps putting the words in there numerous times but you're okay with that like it duplicated your work. Oh, yeah, I, I love it, actually, because it shows it in different ways, different forms, different All sizes. Right. Because you know what? Uh, Unlimited, which is the word actually we found during the podcast last Friday, is one of my – I of my love work. this. That right? You, I love, you said – I knew you were going to have Unlimited, but we both have Wander in there. I had Wonder on mine, and I took it off because I was trying to get it down to a smaller list. But I had family to enjoy. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! It's very the one word in here that I that it took me a while to get to, but and the reason why it's as large as it is on here, um, because I I have me on my uh, cloud because you know what in 2020 I would did a lot of focusing on other people, uh, and I think in 2021 I'm going to focus a little bit more on myself. Plus, with your so, initials. <laughs> yeah, or that and that too. So Matt, what, I, what I did actually is did a screenshot of my word cloud and then I imported it into Canva. I took the background out, made it a PNG and put our logo in the middle. So I, know, I wanted to ask you how you did this. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. Matt went over the moon on this and now I'm super inspired and I'm going to go deeper. Oh yeah. my gosh. This is awesome. Yeah. So I, let me just go, let me recap. I love that you used the video thing. Was that one of the images in here? Yeah, it was one of them in there. Okay, so one of the shapes that you could go to is to choose something so you could play with that. I particularly went away from that only because, but you know what? There's nothing wrong with having a couple, right? No, exactly. I, I thought about that. I was 18 doing it. Right. 20 words I chose. And, but 
I just absolutely love that immediately I went, oh my God, video and we're focusing on video. I, I mean, I got it because I know what to well, do exactly. and what, what we're doing. I love that you have retirement in here. Wow. Okay. I have, now I have to go deeper because I really want something iconic and cool too. <laughs> I have a word in here that I never thought I would ever put into my thing. And that's the word ambition because I see it all over the place. It's, yeah. it's, there's two of them stacked up on between yep. peace and calm. Yep. yep. I like it. Matt. I, would I really with my list. work on this. You really went deep in work, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yep. Did you did you just come up with all these words, or did you use any of those word uh, nope. things to help you? I did it all on my own. I sat down and just wrote the ten words out, and then I added about five more after that. I have to tell you something. I think that's more powerful than anything. Doing it that way, the way you did it, and then to create something. Man, look at how creative you are. Wow, I'm inspired, Matt Emerson. I, you know what? And I, let me tell you why I'm super inspired is that Matt generally does not get into these things. I know, so I don't know what happened. I don't know what you did. Can you explain, like, because if we can get you doing this kind of an exercise, there's hope for everyone. No, I just no. I it really seriously the, over the last three months. Did it appeal to your creativity or something? Well, partially that, but it's also just you know uh, I've been listening a little bit more the last three months since we went into business planning and then we went into our you know kind of focusing on reflection and all of that. I mean, and gratitude. I mean, you know, and I just thought you know it wouldn't hurt to give this a whirl and see what what happened. And I had a lot of fun putting that together. Absolutely, because the words all mean a lot to me. All those words, and that's what it has to be. <clears throat> so my, uh, I am going to go, how many total words did you have? I think it was 16. Yeah. And I think less words is more powerful. So the, the powerful words of what you are about, and then even though it was multiplied in numerous ways, I'm going to keep playing with this until I can find something that really uh, speaks to me. But the bottom line, everyone, wordart.com, do whether you just sit down like Matt, how easy is that? Nothing crazy. You don't need, you don't need anything else other than if you need help, <clears throat> we, we've got links and stuff for you. And we'll put the link to the word art. Um, we'll put a link back to our blog post in this particular video and uh, go have some fun with this. I mean, what a great creative outlet. Now, the this would be a fun thing to share with everybody in your family or your group of friends. Sure. It would be a fun thing to have like get on a Zoom and have everybody go work on it and then come back and do like what we just did and share. How fun would that be? As yeah, a, a absolutely. Or, or if you just have people that... that that maybe aren't, maybe, maybe you do this, you know, for a fun Christmas type of thing is you, you gather, you know, uh, all the people you're going to zoom with or whatever. And you say, give me a list of your top 10 words that are going to be your focus words for 2021. And then you come onto the zoom and you present everyone's word cloud to them. You know, yeah. that'd be kind of a cool idea too. Very exciting. It's kind of a fun thing. I'm going to share it with my family <clears throat> for sure. Uh, and just say, Hey, why is everybody here? Here's an idea. This is something we just did. I think everybody would be getting getting into it. I'm going to share it with this other group that I was going to be doing some uh, New Year's Eve stuff with. I'm going to see this if they, I think they'd be into this. Um, so anyway, super fun, cool. What a way. And then you can do all kinds of things with that. So Matt took it to a new level. He Because once you're done with it, by the way, you can just, there's, without having to upgrade, even on this word art, you can download a, a standard PNG file or a JPEG. He right. took it into Canva and he added the logo, our logo on it, which even makes it more powerful. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing you could, you know, what Jan always talks about how you need to visualize these these things and keep them in front of you, you know, it, she has talked about putting it as your your home screen on your phone a lot, you could easily in Canva make something the size of a picture that's going to be on there and it can be on your phone. Well, so every time you open your phone up on your home screen, it'll be there. I'm going to get your help with this because it's the, my final products going on my home screen on there and I want to be able to download it. I want to I, I, it's like think about what you could do. You could turn it into stickers. You could put oh, all kinds of things everywhere. Yep. Like I want to have the year on mine, so I'm going to get some help with that. With, yep. with Canva help with it. Okay. So all right, everybody. That is uh, that is our Monday tip of the week. Uh, not it's it's related to business because it's it's finishing up our year here. We're going to get into some specific tips around your business and all areas of your real estate business coming into the new year. But we wanted to round out the, the whole mindset piece and setting your goals that we've been doing since October and gratitude and so on with a fun exercise that we did. Matt, <laughs> you get like, man, I, I'm so blown away. I want to look at it again. Can you put it up there one more time before we sign off? <laughs> That's <I'm> like, funny. <laughs> I am like, wow. And this this just points out exactly like I'm more linear. I'm like, I'm like, no, I didn't get creative. I was just like, I got the words that I want. I was just mainly playing with the colors and the words and the way I wanted them to show up until it felt right. That's what I was doing. I was moving them around. You can you can just have some fun. It's super easy to use. But to see that, 
Plus, it's in this circle that's like our globe. I know. There's so much symbology in here. I mean, it's it's brilliant. There is actually there is a globe uh, shape inside that uh, that as well. That actually has yeah. the continents. It's really kind of cool. I had that one for a while. I played around with this a lot. So. I can tell. Well, yeah. I love it. I love it, and I love it. So you've got wonderful words in here, uh, and I love that you chose to think. And you unlimited. You said that on Friday. It stands out. Yeah, but look at how it pops out. Me, family, for me, peace. Calm, joy, wonder, wonder, health, laughter, and unlimited are what sticks out to me. And I just yep. think that's brilliant. So well done. Go get inspired, everybody. It's wordart.com. All the links are below here. Um, make it a great week and have a happy holiday. That's right. And remember, everyone, we do Coach Tips on Monday. We have Tech Tips on Tuesday, Canva Tips on Wednesday, and the WBNL Podcast on Friday. And if you are on YouTube watching this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and uh, click that notification bell. Absolutely.